Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you about one of my favourite films. I have two favourite films. The first one is The Lion King and the second one is Mary Poppins. Turns out they're both Disney. I don't know why that is, but I think there's just a sort of magical appeal about Disney films. Now this was originally released in 1965 and this particular DVD was released this year. As you can see there, it is the 45th anniversary edition. So to celebrate 45 years of Mary Poppins. Um, so I was very excited when I got this because I, I couldn't find the DVD anywhere. I'd looked everywhere. Um, nowhere had it. In fact, Disney DVDs are getting either really hard to find or really easily. Easily? Easy. Sometimes they'll have like, I know HMV just now have like loads and loads of them, but then they'll sort of sell out and not buy any more and then there'll be another offer in like five months and they'll all be there again. Because I must point out there is a lot of DVD offers for Disney just now, which is really nice. Um, but anyway, back to this. This is basically the story of um, Mary Poppins, basically, who is a very special type of nanny. She can fly for one thing with the aid of an umbrella. And she has a very, very large bag that everything goes inside of. And I would love, love one of those bags. That would be amazing. So if somebody can make one of those, that would be really, really good. Um, and basically, she goes to look after these kids, Jane and Michael Banks. And their father, I can't remember, their father works in a bank doing something. He's a really, really proper guy. I, don't, I, I really should have found out his occupation. But he's like a really high up person, yeah. That, that, that's the word I'll use. Um, so he wants a proper nanny. He doesn't just want anybody to look after his kids. So he gets Mary Poppins. Um, or, or more so, Mary Poppins goes to him. But it makes sense when you watch it. And then... She looks after the kids and then they go on all these wonderful adventures with Bert, who you can see there. Um, I'm trying to think, is there a picture of the kids? There's not actually a picture of the kids on the DVD, on the cover. Um, and then they go on all these wonderful adventures and they jump into paintings and things. And it's just a really, really magical story. And of course, it does have morals throughout it and things, which is nice. Um, but the main attraction is, because it's a musical, there are songs in it. And there are so many lovely songs in this. Obviously, I think the most obvious ones are supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. You sort of couldn't really sing song your voice when you say that. I was trying to refrain from doing that. Um, a Spoonful of Sugar, which I'm not actually a massive fan of. I like it. I like the click. I, I do try that all the time. Never never makes the house any tidier. Um, so there's that song. There is Feed the Birds, which I love. That's such a beautiful song. Um, Chim Chimney, which is actually, I think that's a seen from it there, not the penguins, if you can see there's penguins there, they're from a different one. But there, that's from Chim Chimney, Chim Chim Chimney. Um, and also, um, It's a Jolly Holiday with Mary, that is um, sung by Dick Van Dyke, that's fantastic, I love that. But there are there's so many fantastic songs throughout it, and they're just, every couple of scenes there's a song and it's so lovely. Sometimes that can get really irritating, even with a musical. Um, but this is just perfect, I love it. Um, of course, as well as the music, the other main attraction is the cast. Your two main cast members are, of course, well, there's quite a lot of central cast, but the two, the two main that stand out are um, Julie Andrews and Dick Van Dyke. Um, obviously, Julie Andrews plays Mary Poppins, that's a given. Um, I'll show you some of the screen snaps on the back. She looks so different now, but like, when I, I, I'm now obsessed with this film. I watch it all the time, but before I sort of really fell in love with the film, I didn't know that Julie Andrews was the grandmother in Princess Diaries. And then I saw her and I was like, is that her? And I was like, oh my god, it is. So that was quite a, a, a nice shock. And um, then, of course, Dick Van Dyke, he was in, ooh, he was in Night at the Museum um, quite recently. So I didn't know that was him either until I saw the credits because I had not seen any of the actors for ages. So that was quite nice. Um, you've got the two kids as well, Jane and Michael, played by, nope, can't remember. I'll put I'll put the information in the below bar for you though. But um I think Jane's called Karen something and Michael was called I don't know. But I will find out. Um but it is just such a lovely film. It's directed by Robert Stevenson, who I'd not heard of until this morning until I checked. Um but he's done loads of stuff. He's done that darn cat, um Old Yeller, and there's an, there's another one that's on the top of my tongue, Bedding Up Some Broomsticks, which I love. Which I'm not sure if I've done a video on. If, if not, I've got it lined up to do a video for. Um, so th he's fantastic. Um, so definitely that's one name I'm going to look out for for films like that I'm backlogging. That'd be really good. It's also won so many awards. I think, if I remember at least, five Oscars, 12 other award wins, and 12 nominations, which is incredible for any film. Um, but this is definitely an amazing film. 
Not just one of my favourite Disney's, but one of my favourite films, my favourite real people film. Definitely worth going to see if you can. Like, it's not, I think it's on TV quite a lot, especially around like Christmas time and things. But, I mean, I don't know anybody who's not seen Mary Poppins. I don't know anybody who doesn't know what, what it is or hasn't heard of it. Um, so I think it'd be weird if you'd not seen it, but feel free to let me know if you haven't. It'd be interesting to know if somebody hasn't seen it. But I think that's all I want to say about it just now. Um, it is it is universal, so it is a family friendly family friendly film. So go and let me know your thoughts on that and things, and let me know if you've got. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention as well. This is two discs, and on the second there's some like bonus features. There's like interview with some of the cast. Um, oh, see, I can't remember all of them. There's like sing along songs. It's been a while since I've watched the extras. Um, sort of delete, a deleted song as well which is not the best of songs but it's alright so yeah it's definitely worth buying if you can get this it's going to be around about £15 sometimes it's 2 for 15 sometimes it's 2 for 20 sometimes it's £15 each I think there's a cheaper version which is like not the 45th anniversary edition um, so if you don't mind not having the extras it's worth paying less but definitely worth getting hold of if you can please feel free to leave comments and things and I'll see you next time bye guys